Hey guys, Dawn here, and today we're going to be taking another look at Dimension. This time we're going to take a more subtle approach though, and we're going to be creating this congrats card. So we're going to be using the whole lot of happy stamp set for this one, and we're going to be using the two balloons up here, the round and the oblong one. I'm mounting these on the same block, one on each side, and that's going to make it easy for me to switch back and forth between each image. We're going to stamp a series of balloons across the center of the card here. So I'm going to start by stamping my first balloon on the left, and my final balloon on the right. This is going to create my margin and it's going to let me know that I need to fit all of my balloons in between these two, the starting and the ending balloon. I'm going to be spelling out congrats, so I know I need eight balloons. By creating this margin, I can adjust my design as I go to make sure that I have enough room to fit all eight balloons. As I stamp these out, I'm alternating between the balloon design, but I'm also alternating colors. And for this particular card, we are using our new dye inks, which we're releasing in March. And I just love these colors. These are Sweet Nectar and Wild Mango, and I think they just look gorgeous together. Now, another great thing about this card is that even though it's flat, the way the colors are overlapping and showing through, it kind of resembles a real balloon, plus it creates dimension, it creates a visual dimension. Now I'm going to add the strings and for that I'm using another of our inks. It's called Silver Lining. Sorry about my head there. I'm trying to see right over it. But I'm using the string image also included in Whole Lot of Happy and I'm making sure to flip it over so that the strings have some movement and they don't all look identical. To add the confetti to this card, we're going to be using our Borders and Backgrounds 3 stamp set. Now this has a series of hearts, dots, and star confetti strips. What I've done here is I've actually cut pieces of um, mine apart. Now don't be afraid I could still line this up on a block and get them all in a row but I just wanted little portions. I didn't want a full confetti background. So here I've just taken a little piece that I've cut apart and I'm using our silver lining ink and I'm just adding some uh, dot confetti here and there and then I'm going to use these separate little three stars here and I'm going to add some wild mango stars. Now here I'm selectively inking it so I just get some of the tiniest star on this stamp set and then as I continue to stamp sometimes I'm going to ink up two and sometimes I'm going to ink up all three. But this is a great way to get variety. I don't want, um, since it is confetti, you don't want them all to look identical so this will help me to create some randomization. Now once my confetti is all done, we're going to add our sentiment. And for that, I'm going to be using the Everyday Alpha set. And we're going to layer the letters right over the balloons, and then we're going to emboss them in white. So I'm using my embossing buddy to remove any static, and then I'm going to stamp each letter in Versamark ink. This is a clear sticky ink, and it's going to give something for our embossing powder to stick to. So we'll be embossing this with the Wow Bright White Embossing Powder. It's my favorite white. It's the brightest and the whitest of all of them that I've tried thus far. So I'm just going to sprinkle this on, tap off the excess, and then funnel the leftover back into the jar. Now as we heat set this, it'll turn that powder to a bright white, and this is a great way to add dimension to an otherwise one layer card. Now I decided to cut down this panel so it's four inches by five and a quarter inches, and I'm going to be adhering it to a standard card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I wanted to add some interest to that one eighth of an inch edge that we'll be showing. So I'm going to use this washi tape. It happens to match our silver lining ink perfectly. Now I could stamp this, but for such a little area, that one eighth of an inch, this is the quickest way with the least effort to uh, cover up that area. So I'm going to add it across the top and the bottom. I'm going to trim off the edges with my scissors. And then for the sides, the middle is going to be covered by that top panel, so I don't need to go all the way in. So I'm just going to come, you know, a little bit in, and I'm going to line up the stripes here so it looks like one continuous pattern. I'm going to continue covering both edges. And once I have those all done, I'll just trim off that excess on the side as well. This is a great way to use up some of that excess washi tape that you have laying around. I'm adhering this front panel directly to my card base. I could pop this up on foam tape, but I know that the rest of my sentiment, I want to pop that up on a banner, so I wanted to reduce the amount of bulk for mailing. Now glossy accents is another great way to add dimension. It dries to a clear, shiny, glass-like finish, and depending on how thick you layer it on is how much depth or dimension it's going to add. So for here, I'm going to put it on each of the little, small confetti dots, and I'm putting it on pretty thick because I'm really going for that texture. Now to finish off this card, I added the rest of the sentiment from all of us on our basic banners die cut, and I popped that up on foam tape. 
Fortunately, my camera stopped recording and I didn't realize it. So I guess that finishes the card. You can see the full card in the picture at the end. Or you can stop by the blog for the full details and more pictures. Really hope you enjoyed today's card. It's such a versatile design that could be adapted to any occasion by changing the sentiment that you put in the balloons. You can find the featured W Plus 9 products at wplus9.com and you can connect with us on our blog at stampawaywithme.blogspot.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Thanks for watching. See you next time.